Well, hey, Canaan. This is Pastor Daniel, and it's Monday, so we're sending out our weekly Monday update to uh, just communicate with you uh, just to what all is going on and uh, different things you could be uh, engaging with for, for Canaan Baptist Church. So, uh, uh, again, thanks to all of you that tuned in yesterday for our uh, next installment of the Seven Signs uh, series as we talked about Jesus being the light of the world as he healed the blind man. Uh, so if you have not seen that yet, you can still catch it on YouTube and uh, at our Canaan STL uh, page there. Also, you can look, check out our website. It'll be there as well. But thanks to all of you that tuned in. And uh, we're going to continue to gather virtually as much as we can uh, during this crazy pandemic of COVID-19. Um, so right now we're on the statewide lockdown. So um, just pray that each other, all of you, uh, just abide by that as best you can to stay safe. Uh, so we can get through this as quickly as possible so we can come back together and, and re-engage and just really enjoy it. I tell you, when the, whenever we get back together, it's going to be a party. It's going to be so good to see all of you. I know I, just, I miss all of you, and I know I've had a lot of you call me just how much you miss just seeing each other. So uh, this is, just shows how God's made us to really desire this fellowship that he's blessed us with in Christ. So look forward to that. Um, but just a few updates. Um, we, you know, we had our normal just right at 600 viewers just, uh, yesterday. So again, thanks all you turned in. Make sure you share those links with, you know, any unchurched friends, family members you may have. It's a great opportunity as people, some people are bored and looking for something to do. So send them a link and uh, help them engage with Christ here through, uh, through Canaan online. So that's a good thing. We had um, 15 of our connection groups meet this past week via Zoom. So that is just super exciting. I know from senior adults meeting uh, via phone call uh, to a lot of people meeting on the Zoom platforms, it's great to hear about and see the good things happen. A lot of you connect together, has some good pictures, screenshots of the Zoom. So it's just great to see all your faces. So thanks for doing that. Now, so this a couple things this week. Um, first of all, uh, we're gonna do something different. This Wednesday night, we're gonna have a virtual prayer time. So Wednesday night at 6 p.m., uh, we will be getting gathering together via Zoom. So uh, you will be getting an email link that will be sent to the entire church family. Then you can log on to that Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. I will initiate. And so uh, there we're going to be praying specifically for our first responders, uh, our members, and others in the healthcare industry who are really on the front lines in fighting this invisible enemy. So uh, really want to just pray for them and just pray for our church family as well. So uh, it'll be at six o'clock. We will not go longer than, than an hour because our student ministry has things going on at seven. So um, six o'clock on Zoom this Wednesday. And we'll see how that goes. It may be something we do a lot more often. So just kind of experimenting with that and see how the, the, uh, the technical side of that works. Um, but also this coming Friday is Good Friday. So uh, we'll have a special short message for you on Friday evening, uh, just to, you know, bring you in the reminder that that's, this is the day that Jesus was crucified for you and for me. So uh, just a really somber, reflective time as we contemplate the sacrifice Jesus made for you and me so we might have forgiveness, so we might have everlasting life, uh, to know God intimately, personally, uh, just the joy of Christianity is this relationship with God through Jesus. So we're going to commemorate that this Friday through just a, a short, special message um, on Friday. And then, of course, um, Saturday and Sunday, the Easter weekend, but Saturday, um, we're doing something also a little different. Uh, as you, some of you know, there's a food shortage for some, and uh, it's hard for especially food pantries to get food. So our ministry partner, Feed My People, has communicated to all of the partners that they need food. So we're having a food drive this Saturday, and here's the way this is going to work. We're going to have a Feed My People truck here from 10 a.m. to noon on Saturday. And we'll have probably a couple locations you can drop stuff off here on the church property. The staff will be here. We'll be in mass. And we just ask that you drop on the church property, drop off your food. Um, you know, don't get out of your car. We want to we honor the ban, the lockdown. But at the same time, it'll be great just to at least see you through your car window and from, a, from, from the safe six feet away. Uh, but a few of the staff will be here. But bring your food items for Feed My People this Saturday, 10 to noon, here at the church property. Because they really need food to help so many who need it. So uh, it's a great opportunity for us to serve, to show the love of Jesus by providing with the ministry partners the supplies they need. And then, of course, Sunday is Easter Sunday. 
And although we are not celebrating eggs and all that, we are celebrating the resurrection. And the beautiful thing is we can do that wherever we are. So Easter Sunday, uh, 1030, you know, online service. It'll be on YouTube as well as, as it has been. But we're also, just a reminder, we're doing the Lord's Supper together this Sunday. So you want to go ahead and make sure you have all the supplies you need. And as we've said, um, just this week as you go grocery shopping, grab a little thing of juice, grab a thing of crackers, and uh, we will use you know just those common things to, to commemorate the Lord's Supper this Sunday as part of our Easter morning uh, worship time. So really, really look forward to that. Um, also, as part of our Easter service this Sunday, I need you to do some work this week, is we need your videos or pictures on finishing the statement, because he lives, we can blank, or I can blank. And you fill in that blank. You know, based on the song uh, that, that's been sung for a couple of generations uh, in the church, because he lives, it, it finishes, I can face tomorrow, because he lives, all fear is gone. So we want you to finish that blank though, in because it's very important for us to reflect on the power of the resurrection, not only to give us that everlasting life, but also how does the power of resurrection what does that mean for us today, this moment, especially right here in the midst of COVID-19? So reflect on that as an individual, as a family, and make your statement video and just post it um, to Facebook online with the hashtag Canaan Easter. Uh, that way, Canaan Easter is all together. It'll be in the graphics here to follow, but Canaan Easter all together. Um, and that way we can just simply collect all the videos and we can make a montage of videos. And hopefully we wanna share that Easter Sunday morning that's a good way for y'all to connect with each other is just to see each other and how each other's responded to that incredibly important question. So um, we need your help with that to make sure that happens. So provide your, your video or pictures and uh, load that onto the, onto the site with that hashtag Canaan Easter. All right. Um, lastly, um, hey, thank you for continuing to give. Um, the mail slot that I mentioned last week, it finally, it, it now is installed. We had a little hiccup with shipping. I'm getting the actual mailbox here. That's why it did not go in last week as planned, but it is now installed. So just a reminder, the, the different ways you can give uh, is you know, online um, at the CanaanSTL.org. You can give through the church app, the Canaan STL app. You can also um, just bring your check by and drop it in the mail slot. Um, that's now, it's, it's uh, located at the entrance by the child check-in. That's where the mail slot is. You can't miss it. You go up to the door, it's right there on your right, underneath the little electrical call boxes, the mail slot. You just slide it in there, and our counters will pick it up every Monday. It goes into a locked box, so no one can touch it except those that are supposed to. Um, and then, so you can mail it or drop it off. And last way is the text to give. And um, of course, you'll see the information on that in the graphics. So um, thank you for giving. Uh, those last two weeks have been tremendous. Um, you guys are just so faithful, so generous, and the Lord's really blessing you have blessed us as we do his gospel work in this crazy time. So um, other things you can do, I mean, there's other ministries you partner with that are looking for assistance like um, Oasis International. You know, they're they're needing some, some further supplies and resources. So uh, whatever other ministry partners you're already engaged with, just continue to support them. Um, we're thinking through how we're gonna do hand in hand because uh, usually every year in May, we do the baby bottle drive. We're looking to figure that out, how we can still accomplish that. Um, and it may just be delayed a few months, but as long as they get what they need this year. So anyway, just be in prayer for us to have wisdom and how we continue to do gospel ministry creatively in this time of, of being locked down. So uh, do your part by sharing links, talking in the conversations you have with people, invite them to our church online, and uh, just keep being the light of the world as Jesus has called us to be. So finally, from yesterday's message, some discussion questions that you can talk about. Um, talk about Jesus is the light. He, he uh, expelled the darkness in this man's lack of sight and gave him sight. And we talked about the different, you know, things that darkness represents and that light does. So um, the three questions you can talk about today is first, how is Jesus your light right now in the midst of this pandemic? So it's a good thing to talk about. How, how are you looking to him for hope, for light in this dark time? Secondly, tell about a time when God shed light on the truth of a scripture as you were reading, maybe you hadn't understood something. And as you were reading, God just really gave you light. He helped you understand what that passage means. So tell, tell about that time. Hopefully that was recently. And then lastly, when was a time where you needed the Lord's guidance in a certain situation? You prayed and you sought him 
and he answered and he guided you through maybe it was a decision or a tough time but what is what is one of your stories and how the lord lit your path as you followed him in a in a maybe a difficult decision making process so share that with friends and families and give glory to god for his faithfulness because jesus is the light of the world well love you all as i say all the time and i really mean this i cannot wait to see all of you hopefully i'll see some of you this uh, wednesday online with the prayer time and then see you in person saturday as we do collect food uh, for feed my people again it's saturday 10 to noon love you all have a blessed week